We are getting some headlines out here. It's hard to parse through them, at least for me to parse through them. But give us the significance of this budget. Yeah, look, we could call this the Build Back Better budget uh, based on what I've seen here, David, because it does include a number of big ideas that were baked into the Build Back Better plan, the social spending plan that the president was not able to get across the finish line last year. Now, as you mentioned, this is literally being released as we speak at this moment, and the president will speak to it later on today. A couple of headlines I want to get off right off the top. A $6.9 trillion budget, that's the top line, would increase discretionary spending by 5%, defense spending by 3%, remembering that House Republicans wanted a defense spending cut here, non-defense spending up by more than 7% to $688 billion. It would hike taxes by more than $5 trillion, and that's important here. Here's how it would work. A 25% tax on billionaires, David, a near doubling of the capital gains tax, a hike in the corporate tax rate back to 28%, and a higher personal income tax tax rate of 39.6% for people making over $400,000 a year. The president says those making less will not see tax hikes. It would essentially then undo the Trump tax hikes, uh, cuts rather, from 2017. Also of interest here for the Bloomberg audience, it would eliminate the carried interest tax break, David. We've talked about that a lot of times before. Couldn't get that done last year either. And it would cut a tax break for crypto investors uh, that allows for tax loss harvesting. Uh, tax incentives for fossil fuel companies would also be cut. When you zero out here and look at headlines just now crossing the terminal, this plan, David, would add $17 trillion to the deficit over a decade. 